I got camera deals, YouTube, map, Bluetooth, no, uh, Chrome, uh, it's so much thing over here I have to play with, like mute that sound, uh, we got that program already, rear cam, okay, click on rear cam, uh, no, that won't work, uh, Gotta go back home again. So much. You can literally uh, uh, share a call link. You can link it to your phone. And uh, I put the uh, USB right there. Hey guys, I got a 2016 Santa Fe Sport. So all of this hooked up. And this does not have the uh, uh, amplifier or the 7mm navigator, uh, 7mm, 7 inch uh, screen or uh, navigation system this is just a basics uh, 4.3 versions uh, right here for the backup camera factory OEMs you're gonna have to use the uh, converter for that from a 12 to a 6 volt I'll show you on that one and then you got that and wiring right here the wiring I'm gonna go brief with it pretty basic uh, uh, one thing you would need to find is the uh, reverse wire. Reverse wire should be around there. We'll check that out and stay tuned. Oh, to remove this part right there, uh, I'll share you a link to another vehicle that I installed. I didn't show on this one. So uh, that will on uh, the bottom of this page right okay for this specific model of the Hyundai Santa Fe 2016 that does not have the navigation and the 7 inch screen just the regular 3.5 and the mounting kit you will need is the uh, 95-73-54B now uh, earlier I was a uh, customer brought this and I thought it should work but uh, I did talk to our uh, <clears throat> tech support. The AXHYKIA1-SWC will not work with the steering wheel control. So do not use this one if you have a steering wheel control and you do not have a built-in uh, amplifier. This is a non-amplifier so you don't need this. This model will not work. You will need this harness that I mentioned earlier which is 70 7304 uh and if you're doing a backup camera actually i i use the uh <coughs> the ax kia dash one w it came with the uh see non-navigation only for the backup camera harness uh, i probably should explain how to bypass it a certain way to make this work but this is pretty simple uh you will need the uh it's, since it's a factory uh, backup camera, you will need an AXC SD-6 volt, which means it's convert the 12 volt to a 6 volt to the camera, so it don't burn up the camera. In order to hook it up, you will need to hook up the ground. Well, uh, let me explain uh, the uh, 7304 first. The 70, 7304, which is this harness, it's got power, ground, and everything else. So, it's kind of confusing. I don't have a better way of doing it because I'm just doing a quick recording. I don't have time for that. I would hook up all the, the color right here. The green, the white, the gray, and the purple. The one with the black stripe is negative. Just hook up the same color to whatever radio uh, you install. Uh, I mean, in my case, I'm installing the Ototo. I guess it's uh, Korean made or Japanese. A, uh, I'm not sure uh, This Ototo has got everything. This is a really nice version. It's uh, 32 gig 3 gig plus 32 gigs model number is S H G 2 B 74 p.m. Uh, uh, let me shut this fan off real quick Okay, got the fan shut off. Uh, I'm not gonna explain the uh, backup camera yet. This is uh, uh, I'll show you later on uh, you got the yellow wire you got to hook up the yellow you got to hook up the red wire and then uh, back to the AX CSD 6 volt for the backup camera you will need to use the blue and white 
blue and white you will want to hook up to the uh on the back of the radio it should say rear camera positive on every car it should be the same thing it say rear camera positive you want to hook that blue and white to that part and then in all case we're going to have to run this wire for this hyundai to the uh, backup 12 volt there should be a 12 volt on the uh on the few i'll show you that on that on the fuse uh, I'll show you on that one hi it's it's complicated to say it right now uh, anyway uh, the black wire you want to hook up the black to the ground also and then the uh, blue and red I think yeah blue and red you want to hook it up to this uh, this plug that I have right there from the uh, harness, this harness that we got and I'm gonna have to explain some more on this one. I'm gonna make a different video on this one. I don't want this video to be too long. And then, as you can see, you're gonna have to hook this yellow wire up to the rear camera. It should be R and then C something on the back of any radio or rear camera. It will say that. And then, if you're gonna do a steering wheel control, you're gonna need to hook up the uh, SWC to this green and yellow that's more to explain on that one I don't know if I mentioned anything about the uh, factory backup camera factory backup camera is a 6 volt so you have to use one of these if you don't you will burn up the camera because the regular camera is 12 volt and this is 6 volt you gotta buy this this thing is about it don't cost that much it's probably about 10-15 bucks buy that don't shortcut anything with this one. I, I couldn't do it. Now I'm hooking up at the same time. I'm, I'm trying to figure out which uh, wire is the reverse wire. So I'm taking two screw from here. One, two right there. And then there's two screw right there. You got to pop the, uh, this part. Whoop, not that one. This part out. It's going to stick like that one. So you take a flat head and push it up like this and remove it out push it out the way and remove it out then you're gonna see two Phillips right there one and two and then you pry it up like so using a flat that pry it and push it out right like that and then the whole thing come out so we want to go to C right there you see B and then C right there you want to go to pin 41 for the reverse and I'm gonna remove this part right there take a blade and remove that plastic uh, tape now in order to show you this is a reverse wire i i went through you know uh, this is probably about 10 15 minute uh video but really i spent probably longer than that i probably spent an hour two hours trying to fix this thing out for you guys so if you guys click like and subscribe i'll be greatly appreciated because i do spend a lot of time trying to figure this thing out so as you can see there's a red wire right there right next to the gray you can see that right there on the uh, uh, right there on the gray uh, 51 inch uh, 51 inch 51 pin plug pin 41 that's the uh, reverse wire so I'm using a voltmeter just to make sure that's the right one I'm gonna turn on the key ignition on and then put reverse it should run Oop, why it's not working hold on let me make sure I got okay I gotta push that wire right there so right there that's reverse so it's showing 12 volt I'm gonna put it on park so that's it right there reverse park now this is uh, now you can now you can run this wire instead of go all the way to the back like I said I don't want to go to the back so I'm gonna try to help everybody out maybe even our installer right here and guys comment like and comment that I will greatly appreciate it that's the reason I do this video it's for myself and for you guys because I know we are an installer some of us got 20 30 years experience but every one of this car is a little bit different you know we all know that and customer just think oh it's easy it's not that easy as you think it would be so I'm gonna run this uh there's a why I'm gonna run this to the uh uh, radio right there 
Now I use a stripper. I remember this, my first English is stripper, like this. It meant to be a strip. Stripping something, so stripper, and then people talk about a stripper. I'm like, huh, what is a stripper? Well, that's a stripper. You pull it out. <laughs> You strip it out. Anyway, uh, red wire, I ran it all the way up the, to the radio. I'm going to put everything back. Now I got the full uh, Phillips screw all the way in. I did have the, uh, for this model, I do have the uh, microphone I ran. So I'm going to put that back and I'll kind of show you right here. You want to go right there with one hand. It's kind of difficult, but push it in like that. Tap it in, easy. Don't hit it too hard. And put it back in. So, used to pull this thing out, everything. Use all your four finger and pull it straight out. And then put the fuse cover back. God, this video probably a little bit longer than I thought. But anyway, it does, it will help you guys or help me in the long run because I won't remember all of this thing that I do because we work on so many different cars. Uh, remove my uh, voltmeter. It flukes. Alright, well I got the 957354B right there. I'm going to... Uh, I pulled everything out. I got this part and then this part. It's got left and right, and the instructions should have seat right. You want to put on the right side. So, I'm going back right here. You got uh, the right side, see XR right there. You want to put it like this. Like so. And then you put that four screw that came with it, and screw it in. Oh, oh. Hold on. Okay. That's the bottom. Is that the bottom? Let me double check. I think this might be the bottom. Hold on. Yeah, this is... Uh, I'm, I'm going to double check. One thing I would mention, uh, so you don't get confused. You take the factory radio and put it in front of you. See? I would have done it wrong. So, you want to go like that. As you can see right there, that's the right way. This is the top and then this is the bottom. So, as I mentioned, right side is this. So I'm going to do the right side first. I usually screw some of this in first and then I'll put it in like that and tighten it up right there. Now once you get done, everything will look like that. And then you s sneak the radio in here from the back, from behind. And then you would want to... Uh, some of the radio come with the screw, but I got a bunch of different screw right there. I can screw it in. Before you screw in, you want to make sure this screw is not too long. If it's too long, we'll hit some, some part right here and damage the radio. Don't do that. Just be careful on that. Now, depending upon the radio, all you need is two. You don't need all four of them. I mentioned earlier, uh, the uh, reverse that I ran from the uh, pin 41 on the 51 pin. Uh, you will have to hook it up to the reverse of the radio. The, ra the radio will usually have a plug like that or a different kind of plug depending on what brand you have. Uh, it, it will say reverse. You're going to hook that reverse wire to the... In this case, it's a pink wire. It's this pink wire will say reverse. Re rear camera or reverse camera Re uh, yeah reverse camera rear camera the blue and white or the pink it's the same wire that I plugged in so you want to tap into this one right here I'm gonna tape it up I got that taped up right there I usually tape about two and a half inch long so it won't move in the later future in the futures uh, now I'm gonna play with the uh, <laughs> the fun part the uh, steering wheel control. Now this is the most important part. I'm sure Metra might not like me. Metra 
uh, the people who make the uh, steering wheel control, uh, almost all of the uh, Chinese, Korean made uh, touch screen uh, TV, such and such, uh, you can buy the one that you bought it from Amazon from China. You don't have to have a SWC, which is, I mean, you're literally paying almost $80 already. So I'm going to uh, bypass it a certain way. I'm going to use this green and orange. I'm going to hook it up to the uh, 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 brown and black, which is, like I said, I think this is Korean. It doesn't look, maybe Jap Japanese. I'm not sure. I, I cannot read Chinese, Japanese. So uh, you're going to look at the, uh, it says steering wheel key positive. So I'm going to tap it with this one, okay? And then there's a programming, there's a lot of video that I did on in my channel. If you could subscribe my channel, you can check it out. Uh, you will check it out on uh, a playlist. And then you click on call electronic related. And then uh, look for the video that mentioned how to program the steering wheel control the chinese made steering wheel control i mean i hate to say chinese made everything almost chinese but there's a certain kind of chinese made that is it's cheaper version than uh boss and all kinds of other brands so i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna crimp this up so i got everything installed uh oh phone ring hold on back to work on this stereo so i'm going to turn the key on i'm going to show you how to program it turning that key on waiting for the radio to come on so now i'm going to do the programming i'm going to go home i'm 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 i'm, I'm doing this uh because i know how to do it before but i'm not sure if i get it right so bear with me home click home you want to go swc which is steering wheel control setup click on that one now you want to uh, uh actually i uh you want to program the, the the volume up, right? So you what you want to do is say press and hold button on steering wheel to start learning, and then you match this. See, and after you match that, so I'm gonna press volume up and hold it, and then I press this button later. I gotta have two hands, so I'm gonna pause it. So this is how you're gonna do it, okay? You do the same thing on all of them, up right there and hold it. And then press this button. It should it should have this uh, uh, screen right there. I'm gonna do it right now. I can't show you, but I, I mean, do it right now. See, I'm holding that. So now I'm gonna use the uh, uh, volume up. I'm gonna click on the volume up. You can't see it, but see now it's on gray. And then click on that. So it's on gray. So now I'm gonna do the uh, volume down so you volume down right there and then press the minus okay and then now you will uh, do the mute see that speaker mute so here's a mute button you press on mute and then with your finger press mute again now you got that right. Now you want to go uh, search left and right. So the search left and right on this is up and down. So up is left and then right is down. So I'm going to press, press up. And then the left button right there. And then I'm going to press down. You can't see it, but I'm pressed down, which is the right. And then, uh, what else has it got? That's it. I don't see any other button. Oh, I don't think. Pick up right there. So, you want to, this is the pick up. You want to find the one that say pick up right there. Right here. Pick up and then hang up. 
I think that's pick up and then hang up. So I'm gonna pick, press pick up. See, and then click it. And then hang up. And then, uh, I think that's it. Uh, let me see if this is, I'm gonna save this right now. There's a lot of other program that you, you can do, but I don't think you can do capable of doing all that. Uh, you can program it, customer can program it later. They might have to watch this video. So I'm gonna save it and exit. So by saving and exit, let me see if I can get this volume up, okay? So it works. I'm gonna go down. It coming down, so I'm gonna press mode for this channel. See, it's on mode right there, and then I'm gonna press uh, up, which is left. Yes. So that's normal. That's good right there, and then now I'm not gonna try to pick up and hang up right there. That's that's up to the after you install the uh, uh, the uh, Bluetooth already, and so everything seems to be working so far. I didn't hook up the uh, antenna yet, so that's it. So now I'm gonna put, hook up the uh, uh, camera. I'm gonna mention about how to hook up a camera without that harness, okay? This might be confusing to a lot of. Uh, uh, consumer but uh, installers they should probably should understand this part right there so I'm gonna hook it up right here which mean I got the power the uh, the reverse right there that I ran from the 6 volt to if, if, if you don't have this harness okay this is an example of you don't have this harness so you plug that in You plug it in like this. It's gonna go in. So now what you got is uh, you got the yellow. The yellow is the video positive, which means uh, this piece is positive, okay? And this is a negative. So yellow would go to pin number one, two, three, four. So number four would be red. See that red wire right there? That's red right there, and then the one negative is black. So you you want want to take the uh, RCA jack and cut it, and find out which one is positive and which one's negative. Positive will go to red, negative will go to the black. So and then uh, the reverse is red right there. So I'm gonna look up there. Let me see. The second one would be yellow. The yellow is reversed. Now you're gonna have to buy the uh, the six volt adapter, okay, converter, which is this AXCSD six volt. So you wanna hook up the red wire to the yellow. Actually, it's not gonna be red anymore. It's gonna be a uh, 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 blue and red from the uh, AX. And then you got the ground next to it. The ground would be uh, black and orange. And then that's it. Uh, watch. Whoop! Can't do it yet. And you want to hook this thing up. When you're done, you want to hook it up to the rear view camera. I'll show you in the back. See, most of this was tell you like that. R C I N, meaning rear camera in. You want to hook up in the middle right there like that I'm just gonna hook up the air vent back just you know your, your left your right just kind of go easy on it one hand ain't so easy but make sure it's in and then kind of push it in don't hit it too hard One thing I would like to remind you that you make sure it's even. I mean, you want you don't want this to be higher, lower when you try to put it in. You don't want to be up higher and lower. You want to be even, straight like this and go in. Because if you don't, 
you're gonna have to take it out and redo it again and then now I'm gonna turn the radio on make sure everything is gonna work uh, there's a lot of function feature that I won't be able to show you uh, turn the volume up got the sound so I'm not gonna play any other radio so now I'm gonna put on reverse Reverse working good. I'm gonna delete that out. I gotta go that features. Let me make sure I got it right Actually, I'm gonna show you right there if I messed up bear with me Click on home uh, I, I guess you go setting uh, uh, General and Let me see if I can find that piece Mix. Uh, uh, I don't see it. I don't see that part. So I'm gonna go to system. Uh, no. Uh oh. No, I don't know where I'm going yet. Uh, it should be right there on general. Uh, let me go back home. Let's see if I can find the uh, backup camera deals. YouTube, map, Bluetooth, no. Uh, Chrome. Uh, there's so much thing over here I have to play with. Like, mute that sound. Uh, we got that program already. Rear cam, okay, click on rear cam. Uh, no, that won't work. Uh, gotta go back home again. Uh, huh, what happened? I go back to right there. There's a, there's a display thing where you can delete that, that, uh, display front. Oh, okay, okay, right there. Rear camera. So you gotta go to the main menu, click on general. And you go to rear camera guideline, turn that off. So let's turn it off and see what it look like when I put it on reverse. Voila, that's perfect right now. You see, you don't see like three of this line right there. So that's work like that. Thank you guys for watching and I'm sorry if this video is not professional enough because I didn't have all the time to do the right video and my other guy's not here today and I'm um, struggle by myself and trying to get that and trying to help myself and help you guys figure this thing out if you ever gonna install one of this Santa Fe kind of help me out share and subscribe and like like share and subscribe I guess so everything working good put on back and then you can uh, go up there and uh, uh, you want to find like uh, uh, internet right there, the Wi-Fi. I can really find or shop right there. See, you could just click on that and you can download a bunch of different things. Uh, you go home and there's so much, so much setting you can play with this one. Uh, that's a... You haven't specified a navigation app, click to set. Oh, you gotta do all the kind of setting too. So this, I'm gonna leave it to a customer to play with it. The customer will uh, subscribe my channel and probably help whoever have any issue, any question, anything. They might ask you, uh, you can ask him. Uh, I mean, so much. You can literally uh, uh, share a call link. You can link it to your phone and uh, I put the uh, USB right there right here you can find that USB and plug the USB to the uh, phone link right there you click that you put that to your Android or your uh, iPhone and then it should link to that so you don't even have to go to all of these and you can play a video from there well thanks again